I was living in Cornwall at the time and I'd just done sort of an evening course in Truro and I was starting to think about doing a degree just to sort of push myself and see where, where things would lead if I really focused on photography. I looked at a few options, like I looked at doing it at Truro, Falmouth and then I went to Plymouth and I thought the facilities particularly were amazing. Ironically at the time coming from Cornwall, Plymouth felt like quite a, a bigger city so yeah it just felt like there was more going on I felt like if I stayed in Cornwall I'd just continue shooting what I was already shooting. When I came to the college I'd already been shooting a lot of sort of punk and hardcore shows around the southwest and as I started studying I really sort of focused a lot on that and also brought in portrait elements to it. Some of those shots ended up winning some stuff in the Enemy Photography Awards that they used to do. From that I met their photo editor at the awards evening and she asked me if I'd be interested in potentially shooting some stuff with them. And I said, yes please. I got the odd little job or so here. And then one day I remember getting an email asking what I was doing at the end of the week and if I wanted to go to South Africa, uh, bring me the horizon. Once that ball started rolling, I started getting offered various bits and pieces. And then one day in the summer break, I got asked if I wanted to go to Europe with Biffy Claro and shoot this on the road thing that was going to be the cover feature of their sort of run up to headlining Reading and Leeds. It was quite a significant one because up to that point I've been working in the evenings like while I was studying to pay for that and just managing to get the time off that I needed but eventually that one was the one where we were like oh, I can't give you the time off I'm afraid. So I went back to my desk and uh, wrote out my notice and handed it in and haven't done an honest day's work since. <laughs>